Hi, I'm Doug Horchak, and you're listening to Verse by Verse. Today we're going to look at some powerful encouragement that the Apostle Paul gives Christians as they experience their life's journey toward his kingdom. We begin by reading Romans chapter 8, verses 37 through 39. Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. To understand these three verses, it's important we understand the context of the Apostle Paul's comments. In fact, the entire eighth chapter of the Apostle Paul's letter to the Romans has a powerful and encouraging message for God's people. In this chapter, Paul talks about a Christian's calling and also makes reference to man's incredible destiny. He talks about God's plan whereby we human beings can become a part of his divine family, to actually be changed or transformed from our mortal flesh to that of a being composed of spirit. God shows us in Romans chapter 8 that this event, the beginning of this new world in which human beings will be changed from mortal flesh as we are today to that of having an eternal existence as spirit, God shows us that this awesome future will only come by first experiencing this life, a life that occasionally will result in some very challenging times. Yet our life's journey can nonetheless result in us inheriting eternal life. In Paul's effort to encourage the members, he tells us that we, as God's chosen and elect, should not allow the temporal trials of this life to stand in the way of the great hope of the future and of our ultimate destiny. In so doing, Paul doesn't just say that we can and will be an overcomer, but he uses some powerful words to show that with God's help, we will realize that new world and incredible existence as members of his divine family. In verse 37, Paul emphasizes by saying we are actually more than one that conquers. In fact, the Barnes commentary on the Bible states, and I quote, the word used here is a strong, emphatic expression, such as the Apostle Paul often employs. What confidence such words should give us as we look forward to the future? Thus we see here that Paul is encouraging the church about their destiny and future. He is reassuring the brethren that God's love toward us, as it is manifest in his wonderful plan and future that is ahead, can have a sure outcome. His word shows us that we can indeed look to our future with confidence, if we don't give up on God, if we don't allow ourselves to be overwhelmed by the crazy world around us, and if we don't allow discouragement or persecution to stand in the way. God will indeed see us through. We will have overcome, we will have gained the victory over, and yes, we will have conquered the adversary's attempt to thwart that plan of God. As God tells us in this chapter, He is far more powerful than all spiritual enemies and forces combined. There can be no doubt we are living in a world of distress, division, and chaos. A world in which Satan the devil is active and one of his goals is to destroy the commitment and confidence of true Christians, to distract God's people from their high calling. And it is during such troubling and dark times that we are vulnerable to feeling overwhelmed in a world that has gone crazy, to being discouraged by persecutions that some might experience because of what they believe. But as Paul refers to in verse 18 of Romans chapter 8, The incredible future we have ahead of us that defines the very plan of God is far more glorious and powerful than the troubles and distractions of this life. One of the best-known scriptures in the New Testament is John chapter 3 and verse 16. Here Christ simply stated, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It is this same promise of God's love for mankind expressed in his plan for our future that Paul, in essence, says here in Romans chapter 8, For I am persuaded that nothing will be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Verse by Verse is a companion podcast to the Daily Bible Verse blog, which you can find on the Life, Hope, and Truth Learning Center. Check out the show notes for more.